morning to dear student today the lecture is pathogenesis in the course uh, fundamental of plant pathology myself dr savita ekka assistant professor from department of plant pathology pirs agriculture university kake rai what is the meaning of pathogenesis uh, as we know about plant disease never develop suddenly but a series or chain of more or less distinct event occurring in a sequence and leading to development and perpetuation of disease and symptom is called pathogenesis or disease cycle the disease cycle or infection chain is of two type first one is continuous infection chain in this type of disease cycle the pathogen remain continuously active from one host to another and most viruses and some fungal diseases comes under the continuous infection chain or continuous disease cycle second one is intermittent infection chain in this type of disease cycle the pathogen survive in dormant state or as active saprophytes to maintain the continuity of chain after the harvesting of crop many bacterial fungal pathogen and nematodes comes under intermittent infection chain now the intermittent infection chain further divided into two types first one is monocyclic disease or simple interest disease in this type of disease only one cycle is completed in one season and there is no repetition of disease cycle within a season some examples of monocyclic diseases are loose smut of wheat covered smut of barley second type of intermittent infection chain is polycyclic disease or compound interest disease in this type of infection chain many cycle of disease are repeated within the same crop season on the host through spore infection spore chain the example of polycyclic diseases are rust of wheat powdery mildew of many vegetables late blight of potato scab of apple etc now we know that the development of disease in plant require three major components first major component is host for development of disease the host may be susceptible second important component is pathogen and the pathogen is virulent in nature or aggressive in nature and third factor is environment for the development of disease the environment must be favorable the main events of pathogenesis or disease cycle includes the first event is inoculation second is penetration third is infection invasion colonization is the for a fifth event growth and reproduction dissemination of pathogen and survival of pathogen the first event is inoculation what is the meaning of inoculation inoculation is the initial contact of pathogen with a site of plant where infection is possible the pathogen that lands on or brought into contact with the plant is called inoculum therefore inoculum is any part of pathogen that can infection in fungi inoculum may be their spores sclerotia sclerotia is its resting body or mycelium fragment mycelium fragment is its vegetative body in bacteria virus and viro virusoid whole individual may be play as inoculum in nematodes the inoculum may be adult larvae or eggs in parasitic plants the inoculum may be their seeds now the where there are two types of inoculum first is primary inoculum and another is secondary inoculum an inoculum that survive in off season and cause infection in growing season is called primary inoculum and the infection is called primary infection uh, sclerotia mycelium oospore are primary inoculum of the pathogen 
whereas an inoculum produced from these primary inoculum is called secondary inoculum and conidia, iridospore, juospore are the uh, secondary inoculum of the pathogen. Now uh, we know that uh, the source of inoculum, where the inoculums are comes from, then uh, we say that soil or infected plant debris is the major sources uh, of inoculum whereas sometimes it comes from perennial or alternate hosts. Uh, then uh, it's come from again, it's come from seed, transplants, tubers and other propagated materials. In fungi, bacteria, nematode and parasitic higher plants, Inoculum produce, uh, they generally produce their inoculum on the infected plant or their inoculum reach the plant surface when the infected tissues breaks. Whereas in case of virus, viroids, molecules, fastidious bacteria and protozoa produce their inoculum within the host and the inoculum never reach the plant surface naturally. They want any uh, destruction or any breaking or any pore to enter into the host surface. Then the inoculum of most of pathogen carried to the host plant by wind, uh, water and insect. Some airborne inoculum reaches the host sometime by gravity or by washing with rain. The second phase of disease cycle is or second event of disease cycle is penetration. In penetration three important phases are pre-penetration, -pre penetration and post-penetration. In pre-penetration -pre the phase includes all the events prior to actual entry of pathogens. These events include spore germination, seed germination and perception of host surface, formation of or maturation of apresorium or infection peg and attachment of pathogen to the host. Spore germination by producing typical mycelium that infect and grow into host plant or by produced a short germ tube that form a specialized distinct mycelium called fostorium. In formation and maturation of aprosorium or infection peg, the growth of germ tube and formation of aprosorium influenced by nature of plant surface and substance secreted by it. The base of aprosorium produce a narrow penetration hyphae called infection or penetration peg which use physical force to puncture the host cuticle. Before penetration, the inoculum first become attached to the host by producing some mucilaginous substance which contain lipid, polysaccharides, protein and glycoprotein at their tip. Then penetration, after pre-penetration, penetration is the actual entry of pathogen into the host. The pathogen penetrate the plant surface in two different ways. First one is indirect penetration or second one is direct penetration. Indirect penetration is governed by wound. Uh, wound operated due to farm operation due to hailstorm or due to insects. Due to farm operation, these uh, examples of pathogen which enters uh, into the host through wound are colitotrichum which causes die back of chili, penicillium, diplodia, aspergillus. Due to hailstorm, macrophomina, fasciolina enters into their host and uh, sclerotinia fructicola which was the causal organism of brown rot of fruit enters into the host through the insects and cireto mila almi which is the causal organism of dutch elm is enters into their host through the insects indirect penetration through natural openings like stomata 
some pathogen enters in um, through stomata are Paxinia graminis, which is the causal organism of rust of wheat, Pernospora destructor, which is the causal organism of downy mildew of grapevine, Xanthomonas compostris pathovar marva serum is the causal organism of black arm of cotton, Albugo candida is the causal organism of white rust of crucifers and late blight pathogen that is Phytophthora infestans enters into their host through stomata. Another natural opening is lenticels and the pathogen Streptomyces scabies which causes potato scab, scab which enters into their host through lenticels and uh, uh, hydrothod in hydrothod the pathogen xanthomonas compestris pathovar compestris which causes the black rot of crucifers enters their host through hydrothod now coming to direct penetration most fungi nematode parasitic higher plant are capable of penetrating host directly uh, through their non cuticle rice surface uh, they enters through seedling, root hairs, birds, flowers, leaves and nectars. Through cutinized surface, they enters through the cuticles and if the examples are Tica disease caused by Sarcospora personata, early blight of solanaceous plants, causal organism is Alternaria solanae. Now after penetration, uh, the next event is infection. In this uh, uh, process, uh, the pathogen established contact with the susceptible cell or tissue of host and procure nutrient from them. Successful infection result in appearance of symptom like discoloration, malformation, necrotic areas on the host. The process of infection affected by various factors such as susceptibility and resistance of host, aggressiveness and virulence of pathogen, vir uh, environmental factors, host nutrition and, and pH and incubation period. The next event is invasion. It is the spread of pathogen in the host. Most of the fungal pathogen spread into all tissues of the plant organ. They infect either by growing directly through the cells as intracellular mycelium or by growing between the cell as intercellular mycelium. Different pathogens invade their host as ectoparasites. Example are powdinative, scab, as endoparasites and examples are wilt pathogen viruses wheat rust through the vascular pathogens examples are pseudomonas subcuticular pathogens and sub epidermal pathogens next events is colonization after entering inside the host the pathogen established biological relationship with the host and procure nutrient food from them. For successful establishment infection, the pathogen must be in the pathogenic state, the host must be in susceptible state and the environmental condition must be favorable. During infection, the pathogen grow and multiply within the plant tissue and develop external symptom on the host. The time interval between the inoculation and appearance of disease symptom is known as incubation period. After infection, the uh, next event is growth and reproduction. Fungi and parasitic higher plant invade and infect tissue by growing. These pathogen continue to grow and branch out within infected host until the plant is dead. Bacteria, molecules, viroids, nematodes and protozoans invade and effect new plant tissue by reproducing at rapid rates and 
increasing their number tremendously in infected tissue. These pathogens then carry passively into new cell and tissue through plasmodesmata and the uh, example of the pathogen are viruses and viroids, phloem. Uh, the pathogens are molecules, some fastidious bacteria, protozoa and through the xylem. Uh, an example is some bacteria. Uh, next event is dissemination. After invasion and colonization of pathogen comes out from the host to maintain the continuity of infection chain or disease cycle and escape death due to overcrowding. Once the pathogen exit from the host, they survive and disseminate to other host and continue the infection cycle. Viruses can exit only with the leaving protoplasm and disseminated through their animate factors like insect, fungi, nematodes, etc. Whereas bacteria ooze out in form of slime on the surface from where they disseminate through water and insects. Most plant pathogenic fungi grow out on the host surface and produce repeating spores under favorable conditions. These spores disseminate through wind, water, soil, seed, propagating materials, agriculture implements, etc. Now, uh, after dissemination, they, these pathogens survive on plant debris, on growing plants, in seeds, in soils, in propagating materials, on the alternate and collateral host and in form of dormant structure like sclerotia and these are the um, uh, all about the pathogenesis.